Yoink. Hi, Angie. Well, I cannot wait to see this on an episode of This Old House. <laughs> oh, I love This Old House. There are so many small details you don't notice until after everything is said and done. So all the dolls were placed all over the house, and they are the ones that attack you. Fun little detail, even though we didn't see it happen during the boss fight. When the dolls attack you, they just appear in front of Ethan's face. They don't, like, fly from random points. They just dive straight into your face. The haze is the flowers outside. And if we actually grab this first. Rose's legs. Legs. Uh... Two out of four. When we came in, there were beautiful plants outside. But as soon as you kill Beneviento... They have all wilted and died. Ooh, I never, I never made the connection. The source of her power is now gone. It died with her. Oh, wow. And as mentioned before, when you're in that house and you're fighting the doll, it, it just connected to me while we were doing that episode. The reason there are blood splatters on the wall, that was the puppeteer running away. It wasn't the doll bleeding. It was actually her due to the illusion. Outstanding. Oh, that's a lot of good details. Oh, yeah, it's all my stuff. Oh, it's in the same place. Nice. All right, so we can sell Angie for a high price. That's awesome. Let's go see what? the Duke. <laughs> You're going to do what? What? <laughs> but uh, now that the fog is gone, the literal and figurative, because that was also Ethan's brain fog, thanks to the plants, we can actually check out all the gates that were on the way here. This is kind of your reward for beating the scariest part of the game. So when do we step into the fog or the haze, you think? As soon as you entered the gate next to where the Duke was. That's what I thought. As soon as that happened. Oh, by the way, don't uh, don't forget about the... Ah, he'll be fine. Ah, he'll be fine. It's it's okay. He's, he's resourceful. I have faith. <laughs> I've seen what he can do. He'll live. But yeah, when we come out here, do you notice there's no more snow or ashes? That was the pollen from the flowers, and since they're all wilted, uh. there's no more pollen. See, it's everywhere. All These were all the flowers. They're now all wilted. Everything is gone. The illusion's broken. This is really cool. <laughs> I love this section just because of all the subtlety. Oh, also, a lot of the areas have now changed just because... I, I don't know how exactly we got through some fallen trees, but it's okay. Ow, 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 ow. Mia, why did you attack me like this so? It'll be fine, it'll be fine, it'll be fine, it'll be fine. <laughs> it was anything but fine. And we have a lot of stuff to pick up right now. This, this is just a treasure trove as soon as you are able to... Get... Oh, and you got some friends. Also, zombies up here. Okay, yeah, I forgot about that. Hello, beautiful! Oh, hello! You definitely want to come in here for a brand new oh. shotgun! Here must have been a beautiful shotgun! Ba -ba 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 -ba. Yeah, so uh, an upgrade on the shotgun. Again, this is your reward for actually beating uh, Beneviento. And I'm just gonna use that shotgun. You know, screw these guys. You know, you know I think you should. Because you were using the one that you had and it wasn't very good, but this one that you do that you have now, it's very good. I think it actually matches the power of my fully upgraded shotgun, which means it can only get more powerful. Yes! Yes! Give me the goods. Little low on ammunition, but that's okay. We can upgrade! Definitely. And also it gets two upgradable parts. It's, oh, hello. Oh, I was out of shotgun ammo to begin with. Perfect! You had nine in your other one! Back up, back up. Ooh, I like how fast this is firing. Ooh, yeah. Much better than my original handgun. Yeah, just so... Ow. Just so I don't waste uh, shotgun ammo, I'm actually just gonna take these guys out with a handgun. See, look, Resident Evil still has zombies. Yeah, you just gotta find the, the mutated freaks in the village. It's but fine. But they're kind of like, you know, vampiric kind of zombies. Like, you know, like... You all know. the all the fluids suck from their body. And, you know, like, like they haven't had the, a drop of blood, water, or food, or light in like <laughs> 30 years. They're just the, uh, the the workers who were making all the dolls for, <laughs> for Donna. <laughs> oh, here we go. There's your ball, f because there is a labyrinth around here. Yeah. It actually blew my mind. I was just like, oh, there, there's stuff. 
there's really good stuff well, around here. Of course. Here. So you think that there'd be a place full of dolls and not some no, sort of no. nice diorama around here? Come on, Mr. Winters, use your head. We're actually going to let them all spawn. It's a lot easier to take them out that way. Uh, I think... Is there... Oh, yeah, here we go. There's a well here. Well, wheel, well, wheel. What do we get? Give me the goods. A doll hey. head. Perfect. Oh, that's where that went. Oh. I forgot where I put it. Here we go. Don is creepy as doll. He doesn't move anymore. <laughs> Grab some more cash and outhouse. Yes. Ah. So, oh. so around the village, um, I mentioned that there are rare animals all over the village. There are specifically three of them. They give you a hint as to where you can find these animals. If you look back in the episode where we were, we came back to the village the first time, you could actually see this bird in the tree. It was just waiting for us. But I wanted to show off that they do give you hints as to where these rare animals are. In mercenaries mode, I know that Bluebird is on top of this house. That drove me nuts. <laughs> the mercenaries version of this level kills me. Because if that bird runs away, you're not getting 100%. All right, here we go. Labyrinth time. This one's actually fairly easy. You just got to watch for the gates. But you can also use physics to your advantage. There Tilt the go. console that you can... Yeah, you can just take my Series X, the fridge that it is, and just uh, slowly I mean, I mean, tilt it around. It's a... Uh, no! It's, oh, wait! Oh, that would have been awesome! It's set vertically. You know, it's basically just a big joy, uh, joystick. <laughs> and there we go. And we get the Onyx Skull. Ooh. Yeah. Do we get a Steelix Skull? Oh, that would be great. I love Steelix. As soon as they introduced the steel type for Pokemon, I was in love. Fortress was one of my favorite Pokemon. I don't know. Seeing Steelix for the first time as a kid, that's th that, that kind of tells you, oh, man, this is, this is like new Pokemon. Brand, brand new. Mistress Donna is now Mother Miranda's adopted daughter. In all my years, I've never been this overjoyed. I've never been this overjoyed. Ever since childhood, she always had fear of others due to the scar across her face. After her parents' death, she locked her away and would only talk to Angie, the doll her father made for her. Forever thankful to Mother Miranda's infinite compassion. Donna seems I'll happy. I'll give you 50 bucks for it. <laughs> yeah, I'm waiting for it. Yes, $50 for a girl's happiness. She came to the garden today and used Angie to talk with me. She had a mighty fine conversation. A gift of power from Mother. Uh, yellow flowers and told me to plant oh. them in the garden. Oh. I planted them in front of Miss Claudia's grave. Don't know if it was the scent of the flowers, but I felt lightheaded. Then, like a dream, I saw my departed wife. Mentioned this to Donna, and she seemed thrilled by it. She told me to go to the house tomorrow and see her. She said I could see my family once more. Not sure what she meant, but she's so kind. That was Donna's power. To make people see things that they want to see, like a dead loved one. Page four. I seem to have I seem to have misplaced my skin. <sighs> and then the dolls took over, and he died. It appears that I've been stabbed multiple times by multiple sharp things as well. This hurts. Ouch. This hurts. Ouch. I would not recommend visiting such a place. And what was with that weird monster in the basement? That's his pathing. He actually lost me. Well, he's a zombie. Well, yeah. remember the old Dead Rising adage: zombies are slow and stupid. stupid. If he was a lichen, he'd be like, you know, where is that guy? <laughs> meat, 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 blood, fingers. <laughs> ah, not again! No, no, I need those. Can you please no? Yeah. And that's all the treasures. You get a brand new shotgun. You get a photo of a bird. You get Let a couple see dolls. That. Let me see that blue. Blue on the map. Oh yeah. Ding. Yeah, but What's also that, though? Beneviento's treasure. We are going to get that. It's not going to be easy though, and uh, that's actually something I want to talk about because uh, we're about to go back to the village and things have changed again. I think the first big change happens right about here. Yep, there we go. Oh great, flying things, more of them. More flying monsters. They just kind of fade off into the distance. Oh, <laughs> 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 
<laughs> I can't wait to hear more. I taught them that. I'm gonna what do you think? More Spanish speaking in Resident Evil 4 Remake. It's going to be great. I mean, you just put it in Spanish and you got that. So. Oh, you fight them. I just run. I want the supplies, mainly. Oh, also, the, the extra money. Yeah, okay. This is this is a fresh playthrough, so... Let's see. There are some bird's nests up above, so I'll be on the lookout for those. And I guess technically there are a lot of these things we could have gotten our first time around, but there's no reason to, because if you try to go off the beaten path while Mia's trying to tell you about, you know, uh, some, uh, uh, something's wrong with Rose, but... This bleh. way. Yeah. Let's see, is it... You ever find out what's wrong with Rose? I mean, aside from the fact that she's kind of in pieces. In pieces. Well, uh, yeah, that'll be revealed in the story. It's okay. Okay. I'm just surprised she never told Ethan. Because, uh, whatever ha is happening with Rose kind of has to do with him, too. I mean, it's it's clear oh, there it is. that no. they don't communicate much. They don't. Blacka! <laughs> Excuse me, gentlemen, you seem to be falling the, from the sky! That wasn't the best place to hide, I'll admit. I could have done better there. There we go. Chemical fluid, because I'm actually very low on health as well. Wait, really? Hey, hardcore mode. Oh! Alright, you win! You win! You win! You win! All right, one more, and then we should be good. There is a missable gem in one of the gravestones. Now, near as I can tell, the enemies don't respawn. Correct. As soon as they're dead, they're dead. So if I were to run off, avoid all these enemies, and get whatever we need for the treasure and come back, they'd still be here. Mm -hmm. But if we kill them like we are now, and then we come back, they'll be gone. And I've actually tested this. You are absolutely correct. Yes, I'm right! This is my let's play now! Shove over! I did it! I outknowledge the knowledge master! Ah! It's actually fairly easy to do that to me. Hey, Duke! You didn't tell me there would be hypnotizing flowers! What do I look like? A tour guide? Oh. Should have bought a brochure! Care to make a purchase? I see you might have a doll in your inventory, Ethan. This is my so wife, Sophia-chan. <laughs> The massive weeb duke. Alright, now I've learned my lesson. Let's sell Angie first. Ah, Miss Angie. Just adorable. Porcelain dolls are very popular, you know. I don't like them. $20,000 for this doll? Well, the it's hard to find a complete set. <laughs> I guess. There you go, Duke. Just splurge on. Okay. I've procured some new items for you, Mr. Winters. Oh, perfect. That's exactly what I wanted. There's a grenade launcher somewhere that we can actually get now, I believe. Ooh -hoo. So you can buy the recipes for the different types of grenade launcher ammo. Oh, improved grip, gun stock. Yeah, let's go and grab those. New part for the handgun. Awesome. Hey, hey. Extra grippers. And for the shotgun that we just got. Do you think I should sell my old weapons now? For, for the sake of money. Well, and, and also that we don't need them anymore. I do, know for, I do know for a fact that the more you customize a weapon, the more value it has when you resell it. So do you think I should get like small upgrades to sell it for a high price later? I think that you should... Uh, well, what's the, what's the gun that you have right now that's really good? The handgun, I mean. Uh, this one has a lot more firepower. And it's Stick. running out of upgrades. Well, uh... But this one has... I, I could probably upgrade the entire... Actually, I can. I can upgrade the entire thing. Well, let's let's get, let's get stick with the with the gun that doesn't have the tape on it. <laughs> okay. The one that actually is like a, like a realistic weapon that big boys use. <laughs> Not I, angsty 18-year-olds that want to get back at their dads. I meet them winter. I'm a big boy. I'm a big boy. I got a big gun now. I, got, I, I put tape on it until it's got more than whole gun. It's a better gun. Bang, bang. I get that big boy gun. Uh, it's going to be a while until we get a new sniper rifle. So how about uh, increased rate of fire? And there goes all the money. Well, let's get some more by selling that, that one crappy gun with the duct tape on it. I don't even, I don't even think it's tape. It's, it's the gauze. <laughs> It's gauze he's got on there. It came off my hand! Ah! Uh, yeah, I totally agree with you. Let's sell the worthless handgun. 
Uh, keep the good one. And there's the old shotgun. Do you think I should get rid of it now? Let me let me see the stats between that and the old one. So 640 in power, 840 in power, uh, nine shots versus six shots, and those are the main things I look for. Well, that has that looks like it has more to go on. How about this? When this shotgun runs out of ammo, sell it. Because I think it's got like six shots left. Okay, fine. But sell, but sell the handgun. Uh, yes, the handgun. The Lemmy. Lemmy. The Lemmy. Get a better gun. There we go. It is gone. Fair. It's a f- <laughs> the farewell to arm. I didn't know he said that. That's great. Ah, uh, yes. I'm quite the jokester, you see. I have a. I have a book of jokes that I use in order oh, to oh, make really, levity. Duke? Care oh, to make a purchase? <laughs> I want to buy your joke book. Only thirty nine ninety nine. Oh, uh, well, uh, all right. Please come again. But for you, I'll give you a special discount. <gasps> Thanks, Duke. Thirty eight ninety nine. Uh, oh, well, uh, it was it was worth a shot, I guess. All right, let's go ahead and get a few m- things that uh, we can get now, just so I don't forget them. Uh, we got that picture. Uh, oh, dead rising from the grave. And there, there, right there. Do not hesitate in picking this up. Get it right now. This is the only time you can get it. Now's your chance, Claude! Hey, don't insult our audience like that. They're a bunch of smart gamers that uh, apparently know everything about this game. It's funny how that works. And hello. No! Goodbye. The juicy game. You realize that now you've destroyed the spirit of the forest. Now Ooh. nature will no longer protect you as you go forward, I'm afraid. Shit. Well, it, it's, it's fine. So it seems like things are going to get much more harder now that Mother Nature is actively working against you now. Oh, no. Care to make a purchase? I'm going to get my ass kicked by nature. Oh, no. Let's see. Got all the recipes. Uh, we did get a brand new key, so let's go ahead and use that. It's for the uh, the gentleman that had the violin on his door. So let's go make a visit. Why don't we? Go to the musician's room. Yeah. And I think on the way there, we're going to r- be running into a few monsters. That's okay. We got ways of dealing with them. What, what ways do we deal with them? Well, we play rock, paper, scissors, and if they lose, they cap themselves. You're, I think you might be a little screwed on there, uh, Ethan. Because I think your rock might end up being a pebble. Crap! I forgot about the pebble hand! And now I don't remember where... Wait, is this another shortcut? Oh! Well, that's neat. Or maybe I'm just remembering wrong. Where the hell are we? <laughs> oh, here we go. Uh, let's actually pick that up while we're here. That's where it is. All right. All right, so jump into this house. We just made a gigantic loop. That's totally on me. You know, Ethan, I didn't always want to have a body like this. Sometimes I wanted to be in shape, have lovely pecs. A magnificent six-pack abs. Oh, yeah? And lovely muscles. I wanted to be strong and have great machismo. Macho, macho man. I want to be a macho man. Duke, you can be whatever you want. Well, you know who sang that song originally, right? I actually don't know this. Oh, the shoot. village people, of course. Oh. <laughs> oh. Oh my god. So this is why I bring you along. You you know a lot more references than I do. And can piece them together so elegantly. Let's see. Well, I mean, you know, I try. Here. Have you ever thought about hanging out at the YMCA, Ethan? <laughs> <laughs> Care to make a purchase? I have season passes. I was about to say, you get a free... You, you get to go to the Y for free. So you go down there. Oh, Jesus Christ, it's right here. Okay. Just enter the door. Hi, I'm here. Just I'm go here. The door. I- I'm awake today. Yeah, all right. Enter Luthier's home. Bam. Got it. Warning. This part has intense violence. Dun. Happy birthday! Happy birthday! <laughs> 
Something tells me this wasn't a happy birthday at all. <laughs> what gave you that idea? Oh, the well, fact I mean, that... Well, look at them. They're looking at Squall. What yeah. kind of birthday party you have here? It's like, happy birthday, darling. I got you a piece of bread that doesn't have any dung on it. <laughs> ah, 763934. The Struptica. Struptica. Seven six three nine three four. That's I, not, that. That is a red herring. Yeah, that's not the code. That is not the code. It is twenty seven nine seventeen, because over here, twenty seven. Was it nine? And seventeen. Click. Woohoo! Still, it's a, it's a bird. And you can sell it for a high price, but this is what I came here for. Ah, uh, if it isn't the steel... I'll take it. <laughs> Good attempt, Duke. An attempt was made. Let's see, there you are. I have a specific note in here. Dun. Look for yellow quartz on back of guitar. And... That is what I wanted to do. Grab that. There we go. We have upgraded the rifle as much as we can. All right. Now we can rifle through some of our, some of his belongings. <laughs> rifle, 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 rifle. Oh, oh whoops. Sorry, misfire. My bad. And now if we take a look at the village here, we have the option... We can get that treasure. To, we can move on to here... But we'll do that here in a second, because I really want to go back and get this. Let's get some treasure. You know treasure what? Treasure hunting, treasure hunting, yeah, yeah, Let's, yeah, let's yeah. go get treasure that freaking hunting, treasure, treasure hunting, dude. Get the fucking treasure, yeah! I'm here to get some treasure, yeah, let's go and do that. Let's go get the treasure! Get that dead girl's treasure! Gotta go get some treasure, sell it to the Duke, and have some fun right now. Do yeah. a bit of grave robbing, sell it to the Duke. Rave some grobs. Rave, rave some grobs. <laughs> grave some robs. Rave some grobs! <laughs> Rob some graves. <laughs> there we go. Drop, drop, drop. If it's just looking. Would you like to rave some grobs? <laughs> I have a rave grobbing set if you'd like to purchase it. Uh, thanks, Duke. I appreciate it. Aha! Aha! Yes! Aha! The... thing! <laughs> yeah, thanks for this crap! Thanks for the stuff! Appreciate it. I uh, can't... I have no idea how to pronounce that. Now, would you like some... some Tocqueteur de Poix? <laughs> <laughs> Just pulls that out of nowhere. Uh -huh. <laughs> Definitely want to do that. Alright. I... did the wrong shotgun. No! You know what? You we'll be okay. You should have sold that shitty shotgun when you had the chance! We'll be a-okay. <laughs> Before I do anything, let's make a save. And let's go back and get Beneviento's treasure. You know what it'll cost you to use my typewriter? What? How much are you charging these days? Do you know what? It's fine. I'll add it to your tab. What? I have a tab? Oh, yes. Duke! It is an enormous tab. I didn't tell you to put me on a tab! It's a tab that's basically slowing down your whole computer, what? essentially. Duke! I didn't want you to do that! Don't I worry. You can just find more crap for me to buy, and we can come to an agreement. Uh, is that sort. really what my patronage is to you? Just give you random crap? Such is the way of the economy here. I, I, I suppose, but I, I thought we had had something better, Duke. You see, we li we exist on uh, supply and demand. Oh. As in, I make demands and you supply me with those demands. I understand now. Gotcha, Duke. Okay. Well, Care to make a purchase? I don't wanna. <laughs> I've already sold you all my useless crap. Well then, go find some more useless crap. Oh. Have you ever seen the movie The Witch? I haven't. Damn it. But I know it's... It, you really enjoy it. It is probably my absolute favorite horror film of all time. That is huge praise. That is huge praise. It's a very subtle horror film. It doesn't have a whole lot of, you know, violence or shock deaths or anything like that, but just the apps, the setting. 
The Implications. Ooh, it's a good movie. But anyway, there's a black goat in there called Black Phillip. So I call ah! that- Oh, hi! Hello! Anyway, I, I, I call that goat Black Phillip. Because he's the devil in disguise. Oh! This boss sucks! Uh, yeah, he does. He step on your minds like like nothing. They throw an extremely difficult mini boss when you come back to get Beneviento's treasure, and I don't think he shows up unless you have the part of the slab. Oh, I know where I know where he shows up. Mercenaries mode. Shit, no shit. I hated that. Ooh. Oh, oh, I forgot the backswing. the backswing. Yeah, I forgot the backswing. Yeah, uh, when I first played this, this caught me completely off guard because my god, he is powerful. This is a, this is a Soulsborne fight. It it is. All right, let's see. Let's go ahead. It's too bad you don't have a dodge roll, Mr. Winters. Oh, what I wouldn't give for a dodge roll for this fight. I've got a kung fu scroll that could teach you. But wait, you like to read those military books, don't you? They don't tell you about dodge rolling because that's not part of the army. Well, to each his own. Yeah, throwing this boss fight to you after not having any enemies to speak of in Beneviento House, I can't believe it. Is he dead? Of course he's not. Uh, they also start throwing zombies at you at about the, I want to say, halfway point. And we might be in trouble. Does, does his axe kill other enemies? Ooh, that is. Yes, work. it does. And there's actually an achievement for letting, uh, for enemies dying to other enemies' attacks. That. This guy's a huge sponge, by the way, if you <laughs> haven't been able to tell. He's also pretty stupid. Not, not nice. Oh my god. Yes! Oh, that was, that was actually... A point where I thought, am I going to be able to do this with what I have? Good going, good going. <sighs> the giant crystal axe, sell it for huge money. That's another reason why you want to come back here, because, you know, you kill him and you get a, a very difficult mini-boss. But at the same time... Oh, please go away. Please go away. <laughs> the reason you came here is uh, to put in the slab and you can get a big treasure to sell to the duke. Claudia Beneviento. There you go. For the Baron Gyro Garios Benegario's chalice. They turned her into a cup. <laughs> what monsters! Oh. She is now a cup. Help! Or maybe they just buried it with her. I was about to say this is a really dark reboot of Cuphead. <laughs> The Cuphead itself is a is a dark game to begin with. Well, the, the zany cartoony graphics kind of offset yeah, that. It, it, just a little bit. They offset it just enough. Even though you're still making a deal with the devil and he says, well, why don't you go take care of all, all the other mugs that, uh, that I need to steal their souls back. Could you tell when Niskel was changing over his notes? Shut up! <laughs> You know, I could have turned the page for you. Don't give up the illusion. I could have turned the page for you. I'm, you know, I have hands. I'm, I'm close <laughs> enough to you. I can be your secretary. I can do I, it. I can like hold it up for you like this if you need to see. <laughs> oh, my walking, talking cue card is here to, to help me out with this playthrough. I am basically a co-producer on this show, so that is very true. Yeah. All right, that is that's the main thing I wanted to get done was that right there because that. That part is extremely difficult, so I'm happy I was able to get it done. Let's see what the Duke can give us for not only the axe, but also the chalice. 30,000! Well, let's see. I think I have a penny attached to some gum on the bottom of my shoe. I don't believe it. Here, you can have the gum. The axe was actually more expensive than the treasure we went to get. Well, hey, look at it this way. Now you got 48,000 gold instead of just 16,000. Exactly. So high risk, high reward for that right there. I wonder, though, if you could, you know, put the slab into the coffin while you're fighting, grab the treasure and book it. And book it. I believe that's what they want you to do. And, there, you, and if, therefore not getting the ultimate, you know, reward of taking down that enemy. But correct. You got the treasure at least. Yeah, if you have the stones to actually kill the thing, 
then you're you're doing really well. Okay, we have we've done it. Oh, good. That's all I wanted to do because I knew it was going to be a bastard and a half. A good deal, if I say so myself. I appreciate it, Duke. And actually, so I don't make the same mistake again, I just realized what I did during that fight. I made this thing sellable. Is this one? Yes. Get rid of it. 97,000 gold. Not bad. Can we get some upgrades on that shotgun there? I would love to have some upgrades on the shotgun. Hey, did you did you increase your wares? Did I did I accidentally goof? I goofed. Oh, well, that's okay. Uh I might need this here soon since I've spent all my ammunition. Next time on Resident Evil Village. This key opened up this next part of the area. So if we actually take a look, we've been here before. So what's over here that we haven't seen yet? Hmm. Well, there's that. Mm. You see that? Oh, well, yeah. Yeah, I think we can get that now. I think we can. That sounds pretty good. Yeah. So let me just make one quick sweep over the map just to make sure we haven't missed anything. Now, see you next time on Resident Evil Village. Okay. <laughs> I just had to make sure. Woo! <laughs> All right, see you then.